Hi, welcome to another video in my series of working with these identities. Now in an earlier video I showed you how we could use these two top identities to express powers of cos theta in terms of multiple angles. But in this video what I want to do is show you how we can express sine theta in terms of multiple angles. And the example I'll use is sine cubed theta. We've got to express sine cubed theta in terms of the form sine k theta. And you'll notice that the power here is an odd power. And what I will show you holds for all odd powers. I'll deal with even powers in the next video. Now, in the previous video, we were looking at expanding cos theta to any power. Okay, and we use these two top identities here. But when we're dealing with expanding sine theta to a given power, what we need to use is these two identities in the bottom here. So what I'll do is I'll just simplify this. We'll remove the top two and just concentrate on the bottom two identities. So we have z to the power n minus z to the power minus n, which you could write as z to the power n minus 1 over z to the n, is equal to 2i sine n theta. And in the special case when n equals 1, we get z minus z to the power minus 1 turns out to be equal to 2i sine theta. So when we've got to express sine theta to any power, what we do is we take this identity here and we write 2i sine theta to whatever power we've got here. So we'll start off then just by putting 2i sine theta. And in this case, it's all to the power 3. So when we expand this, we will get sine cubed theta. So that's why we use this particular identity. Now we know that this is the same as z minus z to the power minus 1. So we can write this as being identical then to z minus z to the power minus 1 all to the power 3. So whatever power you got here, just write this out to that power and then write z minus z to the power minus 1 to the power that you've got here. Okay. Now we need to expand the bracket and we do this say by using the binomial expansion formula. And in this example we've got a which is the z and the b is minus z to the power minus 1 and the n is the 3. So working with this, okay, expanding it in the usual way, we've got nc0, so that's going to be 3c0, okay, multiplied by a to the power n, so that's z to the power 3, and then b to the power 0. So b, remember, is minus z to the power minus 1, and that is all raised to the power 0. And then we just work our way down for all the other terms. So we're going to have the following terms. Now when we clean this up, okay, what we end up with is 3c0 is 1, and you've just got z cubed because minus z to the power minus 1, all to the power 0 is 1. So you've just got z cubed then for that first term. And then 3c1 is 3, and then we've got z squared times negative z to the power minus 1. So just adding the powers gives us simply z. So we end up with minus 3z. For the next term, 3c2 is 3. So we're going to get a plus term here because you've got this minus z to the power minus 1 all squared. So you end up with plus 3. And then z to the power 1 times z to the power minus 2 is z to the power minus 1. And then on the last term here, you've got 3c3, which is 1, z to the power 0 is 1, and minus z to the minus 1 is a negative value because you're cubing it, 
and it ends up being minus z to the power minus 3. Now what we do now is we group up terms in pairs that have this particular format. So that would mean that we would group up the z cubed with the minus z to the power minus 3. So z cubed minus z to the power minus 3. Let's put that in brackets, not that you need to, but it does illustrate that pairing here. And then we can create that pairing again from these two, as long as we bring out the 3 as a common factor. In fact, I'm going to bring out minus 3 so that we create z minus z to the power minus 1. Okay? Now this should always happen with these types of questions. If you cannot get this pairing situation, then something's gone wrong. Okay, so a valuable check when doing these kind of questions. Now we can pick up on what these values are. z cubed minus z to the power minus 3 is this one here when n equals 3. And it turns out to be 2i then sine 3 theta. So just put here 2i sine 3 theta. And then for the next pairing we've got the minus 3, but z minus z to the power minus 1 is 2i sine theta. So we've got 3 times 2i sine theta. And if we clean this term up here, we've got that this is identical then to the first term, 2i sine 3 theta. But on this second term we've got minus 6i sine theta. Now what we need to do is expand this bracket here. Um, so if I just take it down at this stage here, we've got 2 cubed, which is going to be 8. We've got i cubed. Now i cubed is going to be minus i. So we've got minus 8i and then we have sine theta all cubed. So we've got minus 8i sine cubed theta. So you can see that this term is imaginary and both these two terms are imaginary. So if we compare the imaginary terms then, we have got that therefore minus 8 sine cubed theta must be identical to 2 sine 3 theta minus 6 sine theta. Okay, we can just strip off the i's on each term. Now we're asked to find sine cubed theta in terms of the form sine k theta. So if we divide by minus 8, we've got that sine cubed theta must be identical to 2 divided by minus 8, so minus 2 eighths sine 3 theta. And here we've got minus 6 divided by minus 8, so it's going to be a plus 6 over 8 sine theta. And we can clean up these two fractions here. So we might as well say that this is identical to, well, minus 2 eighths is minus a quarter. So you've got minus a quarter sine 3 theta. And then you've got 6 eighths, which is 3 quarters, so plus 3 quarters of sine theta. Okay, so we've been able to express sine cubed theta then in terms of multiple angles, okay, of the form sine k theta. Okay, so it is this method then that we follow for powers of sine theta. And I've just done it, as I said earlier, for an odd power. And when you're dealing with odd powers, you'll always end up with an i here, okay? So we need to look at another example just for completeness where the power is an even number, okay? And that follows in my next example.